so I have to ask, how familiar were you with what these guys do before you did this? Uh, for, I've met him before. Okay. On the movie called Fun Size with Victoria Justice, blah, blah, blah. And... He terrorized me on that movie. <laughs> to the point, I'm like, this guy, this kid is fearless. He's a great actor. He's really cute and he's fearless. He'll be perfect for Jackass. Now, this started, uh, this was always meant to be a standalone thing, correct? Paramount approached us eight years ago and said, hey, let's do a movie with the bad grandpa character. And I didn't see it then. Uh, but in 2008, we came up with the Paper Moon type narrative for it. That was our best guess at how to do the movie because we couldn't, and we didn't think doing a vignette Jackass style thing would sustain itself. And then 2011, we wrote for a solid year ideas and then we took it to the studio. Well, it's, it, what's great is the way it is still visibly, I mean, there's a lot of hidden camera. You can you can see that it's hidden camera, but the narrative works around it to such a degree that you stop thinking about what you rigged, what you didn't rig. Like you guys end up having really lovely chemistry on the road. And as I understand, Spike said he took Gloria out because the film ended up having more heart than he expected, or than you guys expected. Yes. By the time we get to, oh yeah, no, I think you'll be surprised. First of all, that there's a narrative, <laughs> and, and how much you're invested in the relationship between uh, Billy and I. Uh, and we did, when we got to the point in the movie where Spike's character is supposed to come late in the movie, we just wanted to be with Billy and Irving. So we, but we got such funny stuff with him and Catherine Keener, who played my wife, that we got so much footage, there'll be a bad grandpa point five. Good. Yeah. Awesome. So much. Yes. Um, and it's, it's interesting how invested you get narratively. I, it got to the point where I honestly thought I was about to see a murder on screen towards the end of the film. I thought that guy was not making it out of that biker bar at all. No, when, <laughs> when, when, when the one biker said, you're looking at a death angel, he was not, you can't write that line. I mean, that's face to face. And, and Zia, who was playing Chuck, he, he, they, they were, that arm was breaking. And he said, I give, I give, I give. Um, they are really the guardians of children. <laughs> they are not messing around. So can you talk about your experience on the road um, and just acting with Johnny every day and acting with Irving as well? Well, wait, a road trip that I did in real life or? No, just, but you know, it was confusing, I think, for you because sometimes I'd talk to you as Irving and sometimes I'd talk to you and Johnny and, as, and you'd go, are you Johnny or Irving right now? And I'd have to tell him. Because uh, he's in the makeup all day, so mm -hmm. is there is there a clear line for you, or was it just after a while you get he, used to Irving being in the car? When he calls me Jackson, I know he's Johnny. Or <laughs> when I, he calls me Billy, I know he's Irving. Um, and the mm -hmm. the stuff they had you do, the things they would they would ask you to say or do, what was the most fun of those for you? Because some of them are really outrageous. <sighs> well, you love the beauty pageant. Yeah. We both love that. <laughs> That's epic. That's one of the best My things we've ever shot. My favorite is the penguin. <laughs> the penguin? The penguin's pretty great. That guy also looked like he was ready to go. Like he, That was an un, unexpected <laughs> reaction. Well, he didn't even get like this. Yeah. I think that guy would have knocked me out, but he wasn't going to hit an old man. He kept saying he was, but anyone who says they're going to, they're not going to. I lo And I love that he starts rationalizing with his own age. I'm not that young, so I think I can technically get away with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was... We, I, that went on for 30 minutes, and I didn't want to stop pranking that guy. And they, finally, our first AD just—they're they, like, "Okay, you, you got to go. You got to go in." And he's like, "They, they stopped me because I would still be pranking that guy right now." For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.